So the first formula I want to ask you about, Dan, is the hydrate and soften formula. All right. Well, that's an interesting formula because what we're doing is we're blending the natural hydrating properties of seaweed, which is 50% polysaccharides by weight. Now, polysaccharides are complex sugars that have tremendous anti-inflammatory properties along with their super moisturizing properties. And into that, we add the oxygen and the hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is a super moisturizer and the liquid oxygen because it is neither liposoluble, that is fat soluble, and it's not soluble in water will actually add some volume to the skin. Uh, so it gives you a little bit more of a softening effect on wrinkles while it's hydrating. The next formula, we call it build and tone because it was something that we were looking for that would uh, provide support and collagen building to the skin. So tell us a little bit about that one if you would. Well the oxygen here plays a more important role in this formula. Uh, we, it helps in increasing cellular metabolism and uh, washing away all the carbon dioxide that's present around the skin's dermal matrix. Now what that means is that each cell, because it's metabolizing at a higher efficiency, you're going to have a better cellular turnover. And into that we've also added um, the polysaccharide fucose, which is from laminaria algae, which has been shown to build the connective tissue matrix that supports the, the skin. So it gives the skin more firmness. And then finally, the hexapeptide 11 has, uh, is one of our great polypeptides that used for skin rejuvenation. So this is a formula that has oxygen, peptides, and, and fucose from seaweed. People are loving this formula as well. Another formula that has been really received well is the clear and soothe. Well, there, the oxygen does play a role, but not as important as in build and tone. But there we are salicylic acid, which is beta hydroxy acid. Uh, it's a larger molecule, so it tends to not penetrate as deeply and stays around the pores, dissolving the grease that's built up there and improving uh, the, the flow of sebum naturally. And in doing that, you have some exfoliation and decongesting that occurs in the pores. Now combined with that, you have tea tree oil and some other essential oils of rosemary. The tea tree is a highly antiseptic oil, which really supports the work of the salicylic acid, while the um, rosemary is calming to the sebaceous glands. And that's important because when you irritate the sebaceous glands or irritate the skin, the sebaceous glands will overproduce oil to compensate. And this actually helps normalize uh, sebum flow while you decongest the, the pores. Does the antibacterial properties of the oxygen play a large role in what's working to control well, yes, acne? Actually, and yes, the, the oxygen does play a role as an antibacterial agent and that's of course um, uh, in synergy with the tea tree and other essential oils that we do have in this formula. The pH of the product is also lower. So a lower pH is also going to help the efficacy of the clear and soothe. The final formula is the lighten and brighten formula, mm -hmm. which we put together for pigmentation problems. Well, here the oxygen, as in the firm product, is very important. Oxygen itself is going to play a dual role here. It does have some natural skin brightening properties. While it acts as a vehicle to help penetrate other actives, in this case, we have something called transresveratrol. It is a version of resveratrol that has been uh, modified slightly for skin brightening properties. We also have a natural chelator there called thiotane. Thiotane is an amino acid that chelates out copper. So it works in synergy. And finally, our vitamin C esters have been shown to be extremely efficient skin brighteners. And one thing all of these ingredients have in common is that they are all anti-inflammatory, None of them promote cytotoxicity, which is a fancy way of saying it's not going to kill any cells while doing it, which you do find in the more traditional skin brighteners like uh, kojic acid and hydroquinone. So you have an efficient, modern age, if you want, approach to uh, a problem of pigmentation without irritation and without damage. If someone was to come in for an oxygen infusion treatment, even in one session, would they be able to see any effect from the lighten and brighten treatment? Well, actually, yes. Um, 
what you'll have, you won't eliminate any dark spots in a, one treatment. What you will see, though, is a more clarity and brightness to the skin. There, and this works on a few, in a few ways. The oxygen, of course, helps um, with cellular metabolism, and the, the seaweeds uh, promote uh, better circulation. So you have a more evenness of circulation, a more even tone to the skin, and the vitamin C and some of the other brighteners do give you just a little bit more of a, a sheen to the skin. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I suppose the repair aspects of the product will also, will that have an effect on the pigmentation or the melanin production? You were saying before that it retards the production. Is this something long-lasting or just momentarily? Well, repeated use will give you a long-lasting effect. Um, once you have uh, corrected a problem, assuming that you avoid the the irritants like uh, overexposure to the, to the sun, you should see a long-lasting effect. We wanted to know a little bit more about DNA and how seaweeds help slow the aging process by working and correcting our DNA. Well, I'll try my best. The, um, first of all, DNA, of course, is the core of every cell of your body. And in this time, we are surrounded well, at time you might say of uh, pollution and poor nutrition, we are surrounded by what I like to term environmental aging factors. These and aging factors can be ultraviolet radiation, they could be pollutants, smog, uh, they could be toxic chemicals that are in the water we drink in uh, genetically modified agriculture and produce. Uh, these toxins and these uh, attack the integrity of our DNA. And it's very important to, in this day and age, to try to create what I like to call an eco environmental protective shield. And seaweed, which is a, a vast uh, resource, if you want, on the planet, contains so many elements, especially antioxidants, minerals, trace elements, and enzymes that protect cellular integrity that protect uh, damage against DNA and in some cases actually uh, very uh, proactively repair damage to DNA from uh, these environmental aging factors such as ultraviolet rays. I know that when we came to you in regards to our oxygen formulas it was important that we combine seaweeds in with a lot of the other new antioxidants and the, the liquid oxygen so can you tell us some of your thoughts behind the formulas that you made for us? Well, here we have something that seems a little uh, contradictory. We have a super antioxidant blend from seaweed combined with oxygen. And, uh, and yet they are compatible. The oxygen that we use is an inert form of oxygen used today by the military to treat burns and by doctors who are doing organ transplants to preserve organs from deteriorating from lack of oxygen. Now this liquid oxygen is important because as we age our cells ability to absorb oxygen is diminished by 50 percent starting at the age of 40. So it's very important to re-oxygenate our cells because when our cells have oxygen it also means that their metabolism is working at peak performance. So that's great, that's, that's the oxygen. But it also needs fuel. We need to supply minerals like magnesium and phosphorus and trace elements like copper and zinc, which are going to contribute to building up our collagen, building up connective tissue. That connective tissue is a supporting tissue to our skin. And when we combine the oxygen, which, which really enhances metabolism and makes the metabolism run at peak performance, combined with nature's backpack, if you want, of power nutrients, that are the fuel to build our collagen, you've got, a, you've got an optimum uh, solution. When you're using the oxygen formulas on the skin, they have a higher rate of assimilation because of the combination of the oxygen with the algae? Well, the assimilation is really happening on its own. The oxygen will diffuse through your skin almost instantly and wash away all the carbon dioxide that is in the vicinity. 
So that's how that works. However, the oxygen also enhances the penetration of the marine elements, such as enzymes and hormones and minerals and trace elements. Trace elements are elements that are really measured in parts per million or parts per billion, such as copper, zinc, iodine. And minerals are all your salts, magnesium, sulfur, potassium, uh, sodium. So the oxygen actually enhances the penetration, if you want, of these vital nutrients that come from the sea. We get asked a lot about the liquid oxygen. You know, there's a lot of confusion about oxygen and its, its benefits and the question of free radicals. Can you explain that a little bit for us? Well, free radicals are natural. That is, every time you exercise, every time you go and run, every time you go on a bicycle or swim, or do anything that will exert your body, your body is going to increase its metabolic rate, and in increasing its metabolic rate, it's going to increase the number of free radicals. This is a normal uh, process. What seaweed does is it provides many of the antioxidants, such as vitamin C, vitamin E, beta carotenes, and a whole host of carotenoids, lutein, lycopene, astaxanthin, all of these powerful antioxidants occur naturally in seaweed. So as we are increasing metabolism, we are also increasing the rate of antioxidants, which will help to offset the free radical load uh, that will uh, come about through increased metabolism. Thank you so much, and um, we will be back to talk more about seaweeds and oxygen and, and other products that we're going to create with you, Dan. Thank you so much.